Hello everyone and welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today I fill in the mood for some lemon pepper fish. So uh, we're going to go into the marsh, see if we can catch us something to eat and uh, at the same time enjoy the sights and sounds that Mother Nature has to offer. is out here it's so quiet peaceful you got the birds just chilling waiting for that sun to come up some of them already working over the water diving down to get the bait it's absolutely breathtaking oh there's a thump maybe not might be a trout right there Lots of oyster to my left hand side. Usually holds a sheep's head and, oh look at that, that's gotta be something going after the bait that's right above the oyster bar. Oh look at that, <laughs> my gosh. Look like a little redfish. Man, there is some blow ups taking place over there on the opposite side. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to him. It's a little fella, it doesn't seem to be big. But, if you see a topwater blow up, that guy is coming at me. If you see the blow up, then you'll want to catch all those fish. Okay. I know he's coming this way alongside the bank. Oh, I hit the oyster. There we go, got it out. Oh, got him! <laughs> Son, get over here. Get over here. Let's show everybody who you are. You are a motorboat. And we'll get you off really fast. Back inside the water to continue crushing bait. Beautiful speckled trout. Boy, do they smell. Oh, that looks like something right over there. Could be a mullet that just surfaced. I don't know. But I want to find out. Perfect cast, Mark. Good night. Sometimes I actually think I know what I'm doing. Since we didn't get bit, I'm going to assume it was an amullet. <laughs> it was a mullet. That's an even better cast right there. There's a wake going across. I don't think I spooked whatever it was that was over there, but here, let's cast in front of it, kind of lead it a little bit. Oh, look at that. We got him. I didn't expect to catch that guy. So I saw him right there, called him a mullet. Saw the wake go that way, led him, and look at this. I think we got our, is this going to be the lemon pepper? Oh, it's a drum, bro. Look at that. Normally, you don't catch these guys on lures unless it's like something that smells. All right. Look at that. That's a good hook set. Uh-oh, you're bleeding. We got a bleeder. There we go. A bug with a bio bait. Excellent. I hate the days whenever the sun comes out, then it goes down because it just messes up your vision. Yeah. And it comes back out, it comes back down. Yeah. It's like a disco ball. I know. Like staring into a strobe light. <laughs> I'm blind. I can't see. I'm blind. Oh gosh. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> 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 Look at this, ladies and gents. <laughs> Ugh. Come here. here. Uh oh, come on, watch out, watch out. Everybody wants to see you. You are the star of the show. Oh, gosh. This lure does not discriminate. He catches big fish, he catches small fish, one fish, two fish. It's like a Dr. Zeus book. Oh, look at that. 
That's got to be a red. Last time I said that it was a black drum, but no, we got us a nice little mud nugget on the line. It is so fun catching these guys on very light action stuff. This is like ultra light gear, something that you would use for panfish if you were fresh in the freshwater. Look at this fella. He's almost, almost, probably a slot in Louisiana, but not here in Texas. So you're safe, buddy. All right, for this cast, I'm gonna up the ante. Check this out. My specialty secret procure. Shrimp procure at the bottom. All right, there we go. We are primed and ready. Hopefully Nick doesn't catch that. Oh, he bit you, bro? Oh, nice. All right, he's gonna take my lure, watch. <laughs> oh, oh. Dang it, mosquito. But I just got thumped too. These mosquitoes are really getting on my nerves. Oh, got them. Come here, lemon pepper. That's a red. Yeah, it's a redfish. Man, I was gonna say, if that was a flounder, he was gonna be a big one. Boy, strawberry colored redfish. We've gotta graduate from this nursery and get to the uh, high school. So whatever it was, well, not whatever it was, it was this guy right here. That's about a 16 incher, somewhere around there. Ooh, so much anger built up. Oh, look at that. There's two of them. Oh, right there, perfect. He's He sees it, he's on it. He's on it, come on, get it. Oh no. Where are you going, dude? See oh, there he goes, he got it. He got it? Yep, he got it. Let's go, lemon pepper. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. He went under the kayak. Okay, there he goes, right there. I don't know. He might be way too big. Oh my gosh, this dude is a brute. All right, here we go, right here, no. Come on, come on, there you go, over here, over here, over here. Oh my gosh. This is a massive guy. <laughs> he has no quit in him, come on. Oh my goodness, get over here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh gosh, you gotta love this. Holy moly. I love it when a plan comes together perfectly. Massive fish. Last year. Oh, look at that. 28 inches on the nose. Perfect. This is a tournament red right here. This is your winner. 28 inches on the nose. How heavy are you? That is a nine pound redfish. Wow. On tournament day, if you fish tournaments, if that's your thing, you would be so happy to catch a fish like that. One last look at this fella before we release him. Let's get the thumbnail shot right there. Just an, a gorgeous fish. And he's got a heart on his tail or like some little Galaga spaceship. Oh, I hope you know how much joy you brought to my day. This fish just made my day. If we don't get Mr. Lemon Pepper, it doesn't matter because this guy was more than worth it. All right, here we go. See you later, buddy. Look at that fish, just gorgeous. That right there made the day. I don't care if I don't catch Mr. Lemon Pepper. I'm hoping that we do just so that we can eat tonight. <laughs> but uh, yes, you've got to love a big proper sized donkey like that. This is such a, a great back lake to fish. Oh yes. 
That guy really didn't even thump it. He's not gonna be a keeper, at least I don't think he is. He looks too small. Yeah, I don't think that's a keeper. Putting way too much line twist. This guy's gonna, he might be a keeper. I don't know if we have the perfect candidate for Mr. Lemon Pepper. Come here. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. With a pinch tail, he is literally right at 20 inches. <laughs> That's two keeper reds right there. This guy. Nose at the tip of the board right there. And then you come down over here, 20 inches. He is just way too small. All right, buddy, thank you so much. Oh, that was a thump for sure. Had to have been. Dang it, that was like a... Oh, no, he's got it. Goodness gracious. He was like swimming at me. I knew I felt a, like a thump. Please. What do we got? Is that a trout? That ain't gonna be no trout. He's fighting too hard. <laughs> we got another freaking mud chicken. Good night. Come on now. Quit making all that racket. Thought this was a trout because he had all these freaking spots on him. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. There we go. The day of the mud chickens. Oh. Wow, these guys are just picking it up subtly and trying to run with it. Goodness gracious. Dude, I just want to get you over here to this side so that we can use the boga. Now come here. Okay, here we go. We got you. Probably about 20 inches again, right on the button, I bet. Let's see. So we got a 20 incher. 20 and 20 and a half, bro. <laughs> Mr. Lemon Pepper, welcome to the yellow kayak. There it is, everybody. We're gonna have us a nice redfish, too. And this guy, I want 21, but 20 and a half will work. Ah, oh, yes, it's gonna be easy to fillet. It's now time to head back in, everyone. I had a great day out here. Being able to see that many redfish, although we only got one sight casted, it was still a blast being out there on the water. I accomplished what I wanted to. We got Mr. Lemon, what did I call him? Mr. Lemon Pepper. Uh, we're gonna go home and fry tate, fry tate. <laughs> we're gonna go home and cook that guy up inside the cast iron skillet with some lemon pepper and butter. So let's get home, take care of that. Uh, be sure you come back to check that video out. We're going to have to do two separate videos. So I do thank you for watching. I really appreciate that love and support. So for those of you not subscribed to the channel, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell icon so that YouTube will let you know whenever the cook portion of this video drops. All right. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.